Hi, my friends. Today we're going to learn how to write the letter X. Now here is my X and you can see that there's bones on that picture of an X. And when you take a picture of bones, it's called an X-ray. So this is an X-ray. It's not b -b bones. Bone starts with B. This is an X-ray. So just like all of our letters, you start at the top. And we may see a smiley face at the top of our paper, and that's where you um, start. So you're gonna start at the top, and you are going to slide down, jump back up to the top, but on the other side, and you're going to slide down the other way so that it crosses right in the middle. That's an X. Watch one more time. You start at the top and you slide down. Now you jump back to the top, but over on the other side and you slide down the other way. Now you wanna be careful because you don't want your X's to look like T's. So watch, if I make a straight line down toward my belly and I don't slide down and then I cross in the middle, Look what I made, I made a T. I didn't make an X and we don't want that. You want to start at the top, you want to slide down like a slide, come back up to the top and slide down the other way and cross in the middle. So those are your X's. If you already did it, it's okay. You can just practice on a piece of paper. Um, but when we're practicing our X's, we're going to trace this X and we are going to draw and trace four X's at the bottom. So you always start at the top. Whenever you start your letters, you always start at the top. You're going to slide down, jump back to the top and slide down the other way. So there's your tracing of the first X. And then now you're gonna come down here and you're gonna trace these four. Start at the smiley face, start at the top, slide down one way, come back up and slide down the other way. Do it again, slide down, jump up and slide down the other way. There's two, one, two. We're going to make our third X, number three, start at the smiley face, slide down, jump back up and slide the other way. And now four. Slide down, come back up, and slide down the other way. Remember, they need to be sliding down. They can't be straight lines up and down or else it's going to be a T. We don't want T's. All right, now we're going to turn our paper over. Now, if you look at your paper, you see I already wrote my name on the bottom. You're going to write your first and last name on the bottom. And... Then you're going to write some X's on that top line. Remember when you're writing your letters, you have to start at the top and touch the top line and then touch the bottom line. That's where you have to touch. So you're gonna start at the top and you are going to trace this first X. So I'm touching the top line, sliding down, touching the bottom line. Now I jump back up to the top line. I'm crossing right in the middle on the dotted line, and that's where I'm crossing. Now we're gonna go to number two. Well, our first one, that was tracing the first one. Now our first one. Touch the top line, slide down, touch the bottom line, jump back up, cross right on that dotted line. There's one. Slide down, jump back up, slide the other way. There's two. Here's three, you slide down, jump back up, slide down the other way, and you're crossing right on that middle dotted line. And then we're sliding down, jumping up, and sliding down again. And there's our four X's. If you'd like to jump down here and draw your lowercase and write your lowercase X's, you can. Um, the only thing that you have to do is you have to go in and touch the dotted line instead of touching the top lines and make your X's underneath the dotted line. So now I wanna talk about the sound that X makes. X is one of those letters that has different sounds that it makes depending on where it is in a word. 
there aren't a lot of words that start with X. So we always like to look at words that end in X and the sound that X makes when it ends in X is the X sound like that. X. Everybody go X. That's the sound that X makes at the end, like the word box or fox. They make X sounds at the end. I also like to use my hands. Um, I learned this from a friend of mine. I like to use my hands to make an X when I'm making an X sound. And that goes like this. X. And look, I made an X. X. So that's how I make the X sound with the X. 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 And there's my X. If you look back at your paper, this is a word that starts with X and it's a xylophone. We had those at school. We played those with our instruments before. And xylophone starts with X and there's the X that xylophone starts with. But if you listen to what I say, I say xylophone and it doesn't make that X sound. So this X makes a different sound in the word xylophone. It actually makes a Z sound. So X is one of those silly letters that does not make the right sound that we think it should make all the time. So xylophone does start with X, but usually when we talk about it at school, we like to think about the words that end in X. Like we have the word mix, mix. Hear that X sound, X, mix. Like I'm going to mix some dough or mix some colors, mix. The next word that ends in X is six. The number six. The next word that ends in X is box, box. And the next word that ends in X is Fox, fox. And the last word that I have that ends in X is mailbox, mailbox. And we already talked about um, two other words that start with X, X-ray, and that's a picture of your bones, X-ray, and then a xylophone. But xylophone does not make that X sound. Um, but xylophone does start with X. Okay, I'm going to read to you another ABC book um, because I don't have any X books at home. I'm not even sure I have any X books at school. But I'm going to read to you an ABC book that I have here, and it's called Shiver Me Letters. It's a pirate ABC book. The author is June Sobel. She is the person who writes the words, and the illustrator is Henry Cole. He's the one that draws all these really cute pictures. Shiver me letters. Arr, roared the captain. R's not enough. We need other letters to help make us tough. Let's sail far away to find ABCs. Bring me back D's, E's, F's, and some G's. Arr! cried the crew. Arr! we agree. Let's look for an A and a B and a C. They set up their sails and followed the wind. Spying an island, they toothlessly grinned. Land ho, yelled the pirates as they rode to the west. Capture those letters, let's make it our quest. Splash, the anchor went into an A. There it is at the bottom right there, there's the A. At a B floated by on the crystal clear bay. And there's a B. In the sand sat a cannonball carved with a C. There it is. They dug for doubloons and scooped up a D.
E escaped from one pirate's pierced ear. His mate raised a flag and found F. Give a cheer. So he made an F out of a flag. In a chest glistened G all shiny and gold. H hung from a hook on a pirate of old. So he has a hook right there. 10 paces north stood a huge ivory eye. From out of the jungle jumped sky high. From out of the jungle, J jumped sky high. A K on a key slid under a shell. Far from the water hid the landlubber L. A mysterious map with an M soon appeared, while one nimble N popped right out of a beard. Mm -hmm. There it is. They soon spotted O rolling in the ocean. A parrot squawked P. What a commotion! The gang questioned Q as it quacked in its nest. Arr! cried the crew. When do we rest? I moaned the captain, you slothful old bunch. Find the next letter or go without lunch. And what comes next? Q R S. They saw S in the shape of a swashbuckling sword, then found T on a turtle as they hauled him aboard. The crew dove underwater, caught U in a net. They viewed V veiled in velvet, all soaking wet. So there's U and V. A wave washed up W, sunburned and hot. Pirates explored to find X marks the spot. There's our X for this week. X marks the spot where the treasure might be. I spy a Y, yelled a shipmate. Let's go. We've captured our letters. Yo, ho, ho. They went to the captain expecting a thanks. They showed him the letters. He showed them the planks. Arr, roared the captain, you'll walk these for me. Be off with you, mates. Go rob me a Z. Arr, cried the crew, our work is not done. We'll search and we'll plunder to find the last one. They still have to find Z. And that very night, as they snored in their beds, zillions of Zs zoomed all over their heads. And there's the Z's over their heads. Means they're sleeping. Clap, because like my story. Okay, my friends, so I want everybody practicing your X's. Remember, at the end of a word, the X makes the sound X. And you can even make an X with your hands. X. So practice your X's. We only have a few more, um, more letters left. And I will see you soon. Bye, my friends.